Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Diplomat. Um, now, Diplomat um, is a type of solitaire game. Um, what you'll need is uh, two standard 52 card decks. So you will actually need two decks for this game. In terms of how to play, well, first thing you'll the first thing you'll do is you'll deal eight piles of four cards into two sections. And so we have eight piles of four cards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight piles here. And they each have four cards. You will deal the piles like so, such that each card is overlapping, but you can still see some of the previous card. Now, after that, uh, what you'll have to do is you will have to reserve eight spaces here. Just um, keep in mind that just essentially save eight spaces in the middle. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. Do note that we are using two decks. And so these are our eight foundation piles because we have two of each suit. Piles are built down. And so the top card in each of these eight foundation piles can be moved to either another pile or to the foundation pile. And so I could take this jack and I can move it to any of these foundation piles or I can move it to any of these other stacks. Do note that uh, the piles on the side are built down by suit while the foundation piles here are built up from ace to king and so let's just do a quick uh, demo here these side piles are built down by suit meaning that you can move one card onto another provided that it is one rank lower and of the same suit so let's just show that again this three of clubs is one rank lower than this four and they are both the same suit. So you can place a card on another card in these outer piles if it is one rank lower and of the same suit. In terms of the foundation piles, well, you place a card if it is one rank higher and of the same suit, starting from ace going to king. So one rank lower and of the same suit is the three. We are able to place the ace of spades down. And so... What do we do with the remainder of the cards? The remainder of the cards are placed in a separate pile. This is known as the stock pile. Keep in mind, cards from the stock pile can be dealt one at a time into the waste pile. The top card in the waste pile can be moved to either of the eight piles, or the wings as they are called, or to any of the foundation piles in the middle. So let's move it. Um, and th this can be moved only once again if it is one rank lower and of the same suit. So to sum it up, you want to build all the foundation piles from ace up to king. And you can build these piles if your card is one rank lower and of the same suit. And once again, you build the foundations up from ace to king, obviously in the same suit. Now, let's just uh, talk about what to do. And so, let's say you have no moves here. Or, you have moves, but you don't want to make any. Well then, what do you, what do, you do? In this case, you would deal cards from the stockpile like so. And so let's sum it up. Build the foundation piles. You can move cards um, from the waste either into the, into the foundation or into the wing piles. Cards can be moved around from wing pile to wing pile or just moving a card into a wing pile. It must be one rank lower and of the same suit. Moving a card into the foundation pile, it must be obviously following the order of ace to king 
building it up in the same suit. That is pretty simple. If you have no moves or you choose not to make a move, you flip a card from the stockpile. When the player has dealt all the cards from the stockpile into the waste pile, the player moves all the cards left in the waste pile back into the stockpile by flipping the waste pile over. So you have a new face down pile and you simply go through the stockpile again. And so that is what we will do here. Note that we do want to try to get rid of uh, this three clubs. I do like this two of hearts. It is quite useful. However, we will all simply play normally. And so now I will simply go through a quick demo and I hope you understand how to play. My strategy here is simply to fl flip through the entire deck, sorting through the twos I have and getting all my aces on the board. This opens up more possibilities for me by getting all of my aces on the board. Do note that since you have two decks, you have a lot more cards to flip through. And so note, it just did all of that by itself uh, because I have that turned on because I am playing on a machine here. But essentially, let us show what happened. Put down the ace. This two of hearts went down on top of the ace of hearts. This three and that four of clovers. We have flipped this two of clovers. That three of clovers and four of clovers go, as well as the two of hearts and the ace. And so my strategy is, for playing Diplomat, is flip through the pile one more time. Not focusing on anything else, but just simply focusing on uh, the game. That way you can get as many early possibilities or aces onto the board, which gives you as many possibilities as you can. So now we reset the deck by flipping over and making it a face down deck. Notice how simple that was. And so this is a quite a valid strategy. We can simply flip through the deck. Right? Make sure you pay attention to all of your possibilities and you simply get rid of all your possibilities. And so this is quite, there is no, you, there's no real way to lose this unless you simply run out of plausible moves. But do note that you can simply do this and get a large number of your possibilities out of the way. Do note that if you have an empty pile, you can take a card from anywhere and place it on that empty pile. And so do note that, once again, in my opinion, it is best to flip through the deck, getting as many possibilities as you can just by doing this, as well as removing some of the cards from the foundation piles. Now, what I'll do here is I will stay true to that strategy. And first we will simply, and notice we have already built some decks, some foundation piles up to king. Now in this case, it's not letting me reset. And so um, it depends on your, I guess, set of rules that you would like to play. Um, in this case, I have set a limit for myself um, in terms of how many um, I, I guess I have glitched out here, uh, but you are able to set a limit if you would like to make it harder um, for how many times you can flip through the stock and waste pile. Um, and so what we'll do one more time here is we'll simply, I guess that simply really shows how to play. It's not a hard game at all. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.